And, you know, Jane, in a situation like this, again, just catastrophic for so many, we always look for the heroes. And Buffalo is on the road to recovery after a historic blizzard brought the city to a grinding halt. But one barber shop became a beacon of light for Buffalo. Craig Elston, the owner of CNC Cuts Barber Shop in Buffalo, joins us to share how he turned his shop into a shelter and a sanctuary during the deadly blizzard. Craig, thank you so much for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. No, thank you for all that you've done. From what I understand, there were about 40 to 50 people that seek shelter during this deadly blizzard in your barbershop. Describe to us the atmosphere on what this was like for you. Um, initially, it wasn't um, something that I even thought about doing. It's just people started knocking on the door, um, saying that, you know, if they was outside any longer, even two more minutes, they would uh, die. So at that point, I went on my social media platforms and I opened my barbershop up to the public, and that's where it began. And, you know, that's where it began, but really, the, the, the thing is, it, it, is it began with you opening up your doors to the tired, to the hungry, and to those that were literally freezing cold. Describe to me, what was the weather like outside of your barbershop for all of those people that came inside? High winds, uh, a lot of snow, um, extremely excruciating cold, uh, so cold that um, if you're out there for two minutes, your beard will feel like it's frozen, wow. your, your lips will feel frozen, your ears will feel frozen. Um, it's the worst thing in my 37 years of living that I've ever experienced as far as a winter. And, you know, Craig, we know that in Buffalo, you guys are, you know, no strangers to snow. You're no strangers to cold. What made this storm for you personally? What was different about this storm than the, you know, all the other storms that you guys have fought through in Buffalo? Um, just the, 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 the winds, how high, how high mile, how fast the wind was blowing and how cold it was and the whiteout. It was a different type of whiteout. Like you literally couldn't see five feet in front of you. Like you couldn't. Like from my barber shop to where I parked my car in front of my business, I couldn't even see my car. Wow, that's just incredible. Now, Craig, real quick, how long were the people in your barber shop for? All the way from Friday um, to about mid Monday, it got down. It got up as high as probably. And this is an estimate, because I'm not sitting there counting how many people was in, but it got up to, you know, 40, 50, but it came back down to about maybe 20, 25, but then it got back up and then it came back down. But by Monday, it was one or two. Wow. I'm just, you know, I'm thinking about it. That's like three, perhaps even upwards of four days that people were in your barbershop and that's where they basically had to spend the holidays is what you're telling me, was in your barbershop. And, you know, honest to goodness, Craig, I, I think about what you do and how you literally opened up your, your life to these people and you literally are a, you are a miracle for so many folks because this could have ended so much more differently. Craig, thank you so much for your time and thank you for all that you're doing supporting the Buffalonians. I know that, you know, just on behalf of everyone at Fox Weather and everyone uh, in the Buffalo community, again, you are truly a lifesaver. Thank you for all your work this holiday season. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.